is Kevin Coughlin from the Star Ledger and I'm at the uh, Bayonne port here where the NJIT robotic car team is trying to prepare for Monday's big inspection from the Pentagon. And with me are two of the professors who are helping them. So how do you guys feel about how they're doing? Oh, we'll see. Yes. Oh, this well, we are moderately optimistic. The kids put in good work. And this is a very good learning experience. There are some minor technical issues that uh, we are overcoming as it developed. Professor Tim Chang and Ed Howe. So what are we seeing right now? What are they doing? I think they're trying to uh, use the GPS to, um, to steer and also drive. There are two test plans in here. Right now, this is uh, this is a plan to do a smooth execution of the trajectory. Uh, the first uh, routine that we have, uh, relying on GPS, the car tend to have a little bit of jittery motion. I mean, it, it, it will fulfill the mission, the mission objectives, but we like it to be very smooth, uh, comparable to a human driver. And that's what it is testing now, tuning the parameters. And so on Monday, the Pentagon wants them to do what? Uh, it's, well, at least see, there, there's two parts. I think they, they, what they mentioned is that there's going to be four tasks. I think one of uh, uh, them is going to be just the uh, basic traffic navigations going around the route. And then, uh, of course, then there's also uh, actual traffic. So they're going to maybe follow a car, and if the car stops, then you have to stop. And then um, recognize it as an obstacle. If the car stops for too long, then they would just drive through it, drive over it.